duty. Before this was given over to the white woman. And now hit in the head, everybody is smitten by her. But before the white woman, the black woman was the standard and the prototype of beauty. And this, my friend, mm -hmm. is what they were talking about. Wow. You understand that? Yeah, bro. Now, when I went to the museum in Baltimore, she called on me. And she said, come rescue me so I can show the world and show her to the people. I know that I went, I went to see the, 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 the eternal Egyptian exhibit, mm -hmm. but I know that I really went there. I saw that in Kansas City. I know that I really went there to see this particular woman. And rescue her so the people can see this beauty. And we've been sending these pictures all over the country now. And she communicates to people with people. Why? It's because it's the goddess H Heru, Urzuli, Aphrodite, Inanna, Ishtar, Venus. The goddess of love. The goddess Aset. You see? The goddess of love. And she communicates to God as Yemen, y'all. She communicates with people. So, if you want one of these, mm -hmm. you send me, because we've been doing it, because what we've done now, I know I'm going to put my little sales pitch up in there, but we can do this. <laughs> Up, Fuck man, that. Because like I said, because uh, cause like Baba Shanga said, our African scholars are dying in obscurity being broke. Mm -hmm. Now you can help me out because I've never begged for no damn money in, in 12 years, but now you need to help me out. Mm -hmm. Now in order to do this, we put it on the same museum paper. So it's not going to be this color Xerox that's paper thin. It's going to be uh, I had to go find some printers down in Atlanta that would print this thing. So now, the going price is 20 bucks a copy, which I don't mind asking the people because niggas spend money on anything they want to spend money on. Hmm. See what I'm saying? Right, right. So it's 20 bucks a copy, and you can get the set. Either the brother, because since we're doing love, since we're doing love, you get the brother for the energy, which also has dreadlocks. Mm -hmm. And you get the sister. Now, don't miss out on it because we got people that's calling and ordering. It's slow now, but it's getting ready to pick up mm -hmm. because everybody who sees this, they're smitten by it. Mm -hmm. So you can call, you can send a money order to 1766 Rogers Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia, R-O-G-E-R-S, Rogers Avenue, Atlanta, Georgia, 30310. That's Bobby Hemet. Cindy Money Order in the name of Robert Hemet, R-O-B-E-R-T-H-E-M-M-I-T-T. Well, at the end of this, we're gonna hold up the love fund that's right. Because it's like sitting at a lecture right. at home, and they're going to be able to send that to you. Send it. And to 1766 Rogers Avenue, All right. Atlanta, Georgia, Georgia, 30310. Get a postal money order, and you can either send this thing to get the two pictures, because I know some of the people, I need fucking money. I'm begging. I'm going to be like a crack. A crack man. Now, I'm going to be like a crackhead. Every time you see me, you can turn the other way. Because I, I worked for 12 years and didn't ask for shit. Now, goddammit, I'm coming with my hand out. So when you see me, you better walk the other way because I'm begging. Because I'm not going to end up in the poor house. And I did all this magical work. Now, uh, you can get the butt for those people who don't want to send. Because you can also just send me some money for the love fund. Mm -hmm. At the end, we'll do that. Yeah. 
But if you if you want to buy something, you send twenty dollars at twenty dollars each. Because what I had to do now is to go get it produced because the other because the regular Xerox didn't come out that well. It didn't come out well. So in order to get it produced, I had to go to some printers to print it. To print it. And so you're getting the actual reproduction. You're getting the actual reproduction of what comes out of the museums. I want to put that there. And this is the goddess of love. Mm. And, and the goddess of love. All right. uh, Isis, Urzuli, Ishtar, Anana, Astarte, Venus, uh, Venus and Aphrodite. The goddess of love. We want to deal, want to deal with that. Uh, who was that one in that corner over there? Which one? That one right up there. What, who was that? Um, that's not T. I think that's Queen T. No, it's not. It's a, no, it's not T. It's a... I can't think of a name right now. You had it. I had it. I had it. I can't think of a name right now. It slips me. It's not T, but it's some. It's, it's not she's close here. from that era. She's here with us. Yeah, she's here. Yeah, she's not close from that era. But some some people will know, and they will name it uh, 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 when they get the, when they get the actual tape. Right. So at this particular time, uh, what we want to do is is um we want to uh, get the questions All down. Right. Like I said earlier, uh, most of the questions was given by women, and uh, of course we're gonna we're gonna go with our uh, first question is: Is it possible for two people who love each other to absorb the other person's energy, a negative energy, who they're with? Like the other person sure come get it, or could it cancel it out? And that goes to what people's perceptions of love is. I think we should. Well, I'm not. Oh yeah. Know. Okay. I'm just going to go ahead and ask that question because it, it's, it's not in any order or anything. It's just thrown out, man. So is it possible for two people who love each other but do, yeah, it's, to absorb it, the other person's negative? Okay. I don't think we need to be confused. Love mm -hmm. is above negative energy. That's right. And it's also above the physical energy. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Right, right. Um, uh, the, the physical energy. Love is above that, so you must you must be clear on it and ask yourself: Are both people reciprocating? Mm -hmm. It's a reciprocity question here. Right, right. On and you must ask yourself to define what love truly is, and only you can define that in your own heart. And the best way to define that in your own heart is this: the best. Example is no different than a mother or a parent does with a child. The love is not based on what that person does for you. It just is. Right, right. You know, if you got a child eight years old, mm -hmm. the child doesn't work, so that destroys that theory that the woman is now dealing with saying I need a man with money mm. you see what I'm saying right, right. you're capable of loving that child although that child is totally dependent on you mm. you see what I'm saying so it doesn't work it doesn't even have to produce talents because some people can say I love you because my child is child has some type of talent mm. my child gives me back something of enjoyment mm. no this child can be retarded mm. and you can still love it. Mm. That's love because it just is. Look for the same things in your mate. That means that the person can have all kind of idiosyncrasies but you know you love it. Now, not, not necessarily saying you need to accept certain pathologies mm. that can also be detrimental to you. But I'm trying to give you a way to monitor what love is. You see, European society and the Western man tells you that I love a Michael Jordan or a Michael Jackson. Great example, great examples for what they, how they make me feel. There's a difference. Than how you feel about a person. 
You see, black people, we feel.